In today's video, we're going to discuss how we can intercept drug runners' signals from satellites. Intercepting drug runner and pirate communications that are being bounced off from an old Navy satellite might sound a little NSA-ish, but that's exactly what we're going to do today. This idea, these pirates and drug runners using these satellites to communicate to each other, uh, has been happening for over a decade. Uh, for a period of time, when I was building interception tools for different government groups, uh, they actually wanted a small package that could be used to readily intercept and, and do a few other things with the data that was received uh, from these satellites themselves. Now, I'm not going to give you anything that's classified, of course. Everything that I'm going to show you is uh, fairly rudimentary, and as a private citizen, you can acquire all these pieces of hardware and software. With that, let's go into what is needed. The first thing that we're going to need is a laptop, obviously. The second thing that we're going to need is going to be a radio peripheral. Now, the laptop connected to the radio peripheral actually makes a software-defined radio. Now, these radio peripherals uh, sometimes get classified as the software-defined radio itself. Some people are really big sticklers on that. Everyone understands what they mean when they're saying that, so I don't see a big reason to be a stickler on it. The next item that we're going to need is going to be a LNA with some filters. LNA is a low noise amplifier. Now, if you see in this box, I have a low noise amplifier with a filter, and then I have a power amplifier. Uh, this power amplifier is not used. It just completes the box, and that's why I have in it, uh, transmitting on military frequencies or breaking FCC regulations is my least favorite thing to do, so we wanna make sure that uh, you also don't do that. With that in mind, uh, we're also gonna need an antenna, and we're gonna need uh, cables to connect everything. I have an additional filter and an attenuator, which I put on the other end of the power amplifier, just so you know I'm really not broadcasting. Now these two things aren't needed, but they make your life easier. These are wrenches that are torqued for a particular foot pounds, and they just make it a lot easier. You're not gonna over and tighten your type N or your SMA connectors if you use these. On that, the next thing that we have to do, find the satellite. So how I do this is I pop up on this site. I'll have a link to that site below. We're gonna look for the relevant satellite. For us, it's gonna be Fleet Satcom number five uh, here in the US. After that, I have two pieces of information that I need. I have its elevation and its azimuth. Hopefully I said that correctly. I'm sure I messed it up. Once we have those, we can use different tools to find that bird in the sky. I use an app called Satellite Pointer. I like it, it has an augmented reality look to it. So with that two pieces of information, I can just point to where it should be. Now it's not gonna have this particular satellite in its database, but as long as I have my antenna in that direction, I'm going to be able to receive the signal I'm trying to intercept. On that, we can then start up our software. Our software that we are using is going to be GNU Radio. It's my preferred software for open source, uh, software-defined radio software. And then I'm just gonna run a little program that I spun up here very quickly. Now let's take a listen to what we're able to intercept. <laughs> Now you'll find a few different frequencies which are being used. There are multiple frequencies which are supported. Uh, 255.550 was a very common one, and that is the receive frequency to transmit to these items, uh, which again would be highly illegal, and I would not recommend for anyone to do it unless you want to pay a hefty fine to the FCC. In that case, as my friend Tim says, it's legal with a price. 
on that. Uh, the transmit is around 292 megahertz. Now this can be done uh, in Central America and South America. This was being done with modified handheld radios. Costs around 150 to 200 US to modify these handheld radios. If you have a software defined radio that has transmit on it, like the software defined radios we're using, uh, we can just make a transmit application and start sending data that way while other people can receive it. Again, I cannot stress enough, do not break FCC regulations unless you got the time and the funds to pay for your mistakes. So that was pretty cool. We're able to intercept some radio communications. If you know what they were saying, put those translations down below. Uh, we really interested to hear what they were saying at that particular time. Now, no serious or sensitive communications really happen with these satellites anymore. Uh, there was a few cases involving law enforcement where some crackdown um, that paused it or stifled it for a tiny bit, but now no one really seems to care, but everyone understands that anything that's said through this is fairly open. So with that, uh, if the communications that were captured were sensitive, that'd be pretty cool, but I doubt that they were. I hope you've enjoyed this video on intercepting pirate and drug runner communications through SATCOM. If you'd like to know more about SDRs or you got a few questions, put those in the comments below. We'll try to answer them as best we can. If you wanna see other versions of this, I already know I have someone that wanted to see this done with more easily acquired, less expensive hardware. Uh, let us know if you'd also like to see that. Uh, we'll, we'll look at revising this video or, or revisiting this video again. And as always, stay safe and happy hacking. Thank you.